good y'all it's akira here back with another vid d oh <laughs> i don't know why i do the hand thing but anywho today i'm going to be talking about another cricket niche so you guys love the party planning or party decor cricket niche and i thought what is the ultimate party right right any thoughts any thoughts <laughs> a wedding <laughs> so i thought that wedding crafts would be a great way to kind of build off of that last video and get you guys' minds going so that if you do want to focus on parties maybe you can do weddings and parties um because i know they're kind of one and the same but they're also really different um so you know guys i just like to get right into it and let me know down below if you've made any of the things that I've talked about, if they've been working for you in your business, or just talk a little bit about my, more about your businesses and what you guys going on because I truly love to hear all your stories and get all your emails and all that good stuff. But enough of me talking and let's get into it. Okay, so fans. So fans are definitely a great money maker for weddings especially because they have multiple uses for them so not only can you use a fan to cool yourself down cool your um, guests down if you have like an outdoor wedding or sometimes a lot of churches don't have air conditioning and things like that so they're great for all different types of weddings um, not only can they cool your guests down but there's tons of different things you can do with them you can put salt your you know your wedding song lyrics on them you could put your wedding schedule in case you have a few different things going on um you can just put something that's really special to you or to your guests on the fan and you can really customize them as you can see here i got a few examples on the screen of kind of how you can make those work um so wedding fans are definitely a great thing that you can make with cricket and just think about it on the business aspect um you will need say you have a person has 50 guests so they're coming to you for 50 fans so just think about you know how that could add up um cost wise and how you can make a good amount of money with making wedding fans um so the next thing i'm gonna talk about are menu so usually with weddings um depending on what type of wedding it is usually they have uh tablescapes and um you know table setups i can't think of the guys you know sometimes my words escape me but um it would be great to have a nice uh, like charger plate and then have a menu on top so that your guests can know what's on the menu um so that would be really really great thing to make for weddings um and like i said you know these things that i'm talking about you're not just going to make one of them you're going to be making 10 50 100 150 200 depending on the amount of people that the um that your customer or your friends or family are going to have at their wedding so it's a great money maker for something that doesn't take a lot of effort um and for this craft for the menus you, all you really need is a printer to be able to print out on cardstock and then with your Cricut you could cut out the menu just to, depending on what shape you want to go with if you're going to go with the square you really don't need your Cricut you could use um a printer and then also a uh paper cutter to get nice even lines and make them into squares so just depending on what you want what your customer wants and how that could work for you um so the next thing that i want to talk about are seat covers so as you can see here there is so cute and there's so many ways that you can do this um seat covers are usually exclusively for like the bride and groom some people do it for the entire wedding party so they know where they sit um it really just depends on what that wedding is about um and they're a great money maker they can also keep them as um triscuits no. <laughs> Triscuits, you know, for memories, um, you know, for from their wedding, um, keepsakes, keepsakes. That's the word I was looking for. I said Triscuits. Does Triscuits and keepsakes sound the same? Let me know down below what you think. But anyways, they'd be great keepsakes. Keepsakes. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today and it's a great money maker for you you could maybe charge between 20 and 30 dollars depending on what type of material you make if you're gonna make them out of cardstock be a little bit on the lower end if you make them out of like birch or wood you could be a little bit on the higher end and usually if you're gonna want to make them with wood you'll have to have a Cricut maker because that's the only machine that is that can cut that type of material 
So the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is acrylic signs. So I actually made a whole video on acrylic signs and how you can make them. Uh, it'll be linked down below, up here, around here. It'll be it'll be somewhere where you can find it. Um, but acrylic signs are a really great money maker, um, especially because you can charge a lot depending on the size and you can make them customizable. So say for instance, you have a bride in her, you know, bride and groom, it's not just about the bride, it's about the groom as well. Um, and they have a blue wedding theme. Well, you can offer them, you know, blue wedding theme, silver lettering, gold lettering, you know, what, whatever they want. And you can upcharge for that customization. So acrylic signs are a really great um, item to sell if you want to get into like the wedding market. Um, and they have a good profit margin on them as well. So definitely something to check out. And I made a video on how you can make them as well. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is not a Cricut craft, but these are really great. You can make um, your you can make up these letters and rent them out. Um, you can make them for one time use, whatever is going to work best for your business. Um, but they're marquee letters, um, <clears throat> and as you can see, I got some here on the screen. <laughs> but marquee letters are beautiful. They're so great for like. Um, the table for the wedding party to put in front of the table um, they're great for on the dance floor they're great for a lot of different things um, and like I said you can rent them you can just sell them to the customer directly whatever works best for you um, and usually a lot of people use them for engagement engagements as well so just kind of keep that in mind if you want to make marquee letters um, there are tons of videos out there on YouTube there's a lot of crafting blogs even on Pinterest I, where you can find how to make them they're super low cost to make and they're really fun looking to make i've never made them but they look super fun to make um and guys people charge like they charge for those marquee letters um so just if you want a product that you will have to spend a little bit of time making but that you can either rent out or um, you could have a large profit margin from one order, that's uh, marquee letters are definitely something to talk about, or to talk about, I'm talking about it, to make. <laughs> um, the next wedding craft that I think is a great idea are robes. Um, so just like kind of the, some of the other things that we talked about, they're not your your bride or your groom are not gonna just buy or the couple together. They're not just gonna buy one robe. They're gonna buy robes for the entire wedding party. I've seen men do robes as well. They just have more of the longer robes for men. You know what everybody's different and what they want for their wedding. Um, but robes are a great way to make money um i'll link some robes that i know that you can get wholesale for inexpensive down below and it's just a matter of customizing them with your cricut you can either just put you can have like general um names on the robes you can do like bride bridesmaid maid of honor um and make them like that or like i talked about customization is key you can upcharge for the actual names of the brides the bridesmaids the maid of honor to be put on the robe and you can allow the, your customer to kind of select where they want to place the letters or whatever you're going to add to the robe so say you only offer lettering on the back of the robe maybe for an upcharge of you know five dollars a robe you can put their initials on the front or you can put the bride and groom's new last name on the front well the bride's new last name well you know how we do it i'm not gonna just say the bride I'm, whoever's name is gonna be taken you know whatever but you can put their new name on the front of the robe um the date their, their marriage date whatever you want to do or whatever your customer wants you can allow them to customize for upcharge which ultimately is not more a lot more work for you but you can make a lot more money so robes definitely and like I said they're not gonna be ordering one that they brought a party 15 people that's 15 robes you have to make so the money is there and kind of what goes with the robes are slippers as well you know there's a period where the bride the bridesmaids the, you know everyone has to get ready and they're in there you know undergarments that's why you need the robes and so i thought slippers would be a great thing that you can make as well um there's tons of places where you can get slippers wholesale for inexpensive i'll link a few down below i don't even link a few amazon links because you don't have to buy huge amounts if you don't want to 
Um, and like I said, you can do the same thing. You can either offer initials on the slippers. You can offer bride, groom, you know, that type of thing on the slippers. Or for upcharge, you can offer a customization with the, maybe not their entire name because usually slippers aren't that big, but maybe you could offer the bridesmaids and the maid of honors and all that good stuff, um, their initials onto the slippers. So that's another great craft to make. And like I said, they won't be ordering one. They'll be ordering 10, 15, 20, you know, however many bridesmaids, um, maid of honor, how many people are ever in their bridal party. <clears throat> so that's another great thing. So I talked about this customization in my last video but it kind of applies well it does apply to weddings as well um so i've seen it done two ways here i've seen it done as full bottles where people buy custom wine label bottles for their wedding so it'll say like jim and bob's marriage date 2051 that's not even a date <laughs> jim and bob april 3rd uh 2021 and their you know wedding details or whatever on the thing you can see here on the, the screen i'm showing you like the pre-made or the the custom made uh, wine label covers or a lot of people because people don't really like getting away from doing wedding favors because nobody really does anything with them and kind of get thrown out or they'll sit around for a few you know for whatever but anyways um <clears throat> wedding favors a lot of people are doing like little shooters like the little liquor shooters and putting a little tag on them so you could offer them many custom labels so that the person just goes to buy the shooters wholesale and you sell them the labels and they put them on the um the bottles for the wedding so it can be you know jan and bob's wedding i don't know why i always say bob but jan and bob's wedding you know they can do their wedding colors there's all types of customizations you can offer and again you can upcharge for that you know but yes so i think that the custom wine bottles or little shooter bottles or whatever type of alcohol that they have there if they're going to have bottles it'd be really classy to not just have like the brand the store branded or the you know the brand on the bottles but actually have like a customization for their wedding that's something that could be really easy for you to make and sell and it'd be beautiful to customize someone's wedding with that um so another thing um that a lot of people do in our bridesmaid boxes so what's beautiful about this is that only your only investment is really going to be like the boxes in sticker paper to do whatever type of customization that you want so you see here on the screen like these bridesmaid boxes are so so cute i mean i love these so much like when i get married i'm gonna be this is like number one on my list they're so cute you don't have to fill them you can you can fill them if you want to um and you can make more money doing that but um yeah if you don't want to you don't have to it was cool about that it's like kind of some of the things that i talked about so say for instance you have a bride that wants to do bridesmaids boxes and they kind of want those things that we already talked about so in the bridesmaid box they may put a robe they may put slippers they may put a custom little shooter box and you can make all those things and the bride box well you can't do this you can't sell the shooters because um i don't think you can do that unless you have like a liquor license but you can just send them the label in the bridesmaids box they add whatever shooter that they want to it and not only so instead of selling them all these little individual things you can sell them all this stuff in a huge bridesmaids box sell it for a lot more money and um make them happy and hopefully they'll come back or the people in their bridal party will come to you and it's their time to get married so just think about all these things, guys. Think about how this can make you some money, or you can just make someone in your family really happy by making these things for them. Um, so another one that I talked about in my last video, but kind of really applies for weddings, and it's really cute table decoration. Um, it's custom confetti. So it would be so cute, and I'll show you a few examples of custom confetti. Um, but it would be so cute to really have like the the couple's name um, made out of you know like glitter card stock or whatever material you want to make it out of and scatter it across the table tables so cute so easy to make and, you know like i said you can do happily married um as like a general confetti option or for upcharge you can um allow them to customize the confetti um so it's all up to you what works for your business what works for you and how much money you want to make do you just want to sell general products that you can stock and just ship out or do you want to take a little bit more time to um do custom orders as they come in it's just whatever works for you in your business 
Um, so I have two more good things, guys, and then that'll be it for this video. Um, so I don't want to keep you here forever. Uh, so the next one is hangers. So these, you may not sell a whole lot of these. Um, you may only get like, not, not that I say a whole lot of these, but what I'm saying is like the other things that we talked about, you, the, the bride or groom may order eight. They may order 10. Whereas hangers, um, they may or may not order a lot just depending on what the type of wedding they have. But why I say hangers is because it'd be so beautiful to have a custom um, hanger for your bride's wedding dress and maybe for the groom suit. Um, those are, you know, they may just order two, but it's a really great item that you can sell that's customized. It's really easy to customize a wood hanger with just a little bit of heat transfer vinyl. Um, and like I said, you can do general ones that say bride, groom, whatever, or you can allow for customization that say Haley's dress or Mark's suit or, you know, whatever, and put their wedding date. So that'll be another keepsake that they can take with them after the wedding. Um, something to think about. Really great idea. Let me know what you think about that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just feeling super silly today. And the last one are shot glasses. So um, you may just want some custom shot glasses for your bridal party, depending on how turnt your wedding is going to be. You may want to give them out as favors. Um, there's a few other different things that people may want to use shot glasses for at their wedding, and you can sell them to them as either you know general, like I said, just married, that type of thing, or they can customize them however they want with names, dates, colors, whatever um but shot glasses are a really good thing a really great thing that you can make they're super easy to make and you can literally get four packs of them um at the dollar tree so that makes them 25 cents a shot glass and you can maybe charge two to two to three dollars per shot glass um just depending on your market what you're going to be doing with them and a few other different factors um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um uh, to kind of work off of that party niche and kind of talk about the wedding niche um let me know down below you know what other videos you guys want me to make because ultimately i'm here for you guys and providing the information that you want i usually you know make these videos based on the things that i think you guys will want but i always love info or i love your input to know what you guys actually want to see so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you in the next one